as you probably know, the monthly payment that you make on your car or on your house goes partly to pay the interest and partly to reduce the loan balance. And if you're interested in how these break down, then you can look at the complete amortization schedule for the loan. Okay, so for example, you take out a three-month loan for $5,000 at 12% annual rate, and you're going to repay this loan in three monthly installments of $1,700.11. And we need to prepare the amortization schedule. Okay, so again, the 12% interest rate is used to facilitate the calculation. That gives us a monthly rate of 1%. So after one month, $5,000, we're going to owe $50 interest. Okay, and that's the uh, first line of our table here. Okay, so our payment of $1,700.11 obviously will cover that $50 worth of interest. And then there's $1,650.11 left to reduce the balance of the loan. Okay, so that goes in this column here. And then the balance of the loan is now reduced by that amount, so we subtract this number here, $1,650.11, from the original loan balance, and that gives us $3,349.89. Another month goes by, we owe some more interest. How much? Well, 1% of the balance, okay, and so that gives us $33.50, round it off. Okay, so our payment of $1,700.11 has to cover this $33.50 first, but then there's $1,666.61 left, and that reduces our loan balance down to $1,683.28. The third month comes, how much interest do we owe? Well, 1% of the loan balance. So that works out to $16.83. And when we subtract that from our payment, we find that the uh, amount left over is $1,683.28, which exactly reduces our balance down to zero. And so we're done with that loan.